In recent times, acquiring a private jet has become a common trend amongst several millionaires and billionaires across the globe. However, to go as far as owning a fighter jet is a feat that has since been left to those in the 1%. Why is this the case, you may be asking? Well, it's mainly due to the enormous cost of owning, maintaining, and operating a fighter jet. With that said, our focus in today's video will be to extensively discuss the real cost of owning a fighter jet. Stick around till the last second of the video to find out a secret most in the aviation industry don't want you to know about owning a fighter jet. Let's get started. First things first, we have to start our discussion about the actual cost of purchasing a fighter jet. So how much would a fighter jet go for in this present age and time? To answer that, we would have to consider several factors. For instance, if you wish to purchase a fighter aircraft produced in the NATO area, the average unit procurement cost is $112.43 million. Although this price varies from one fighter aircraft produced in the NATO area to the other, you would need to have 60 to $120 million to get any of these fighter jets. For example, the Dassault Rafale C costs around $62.1 million while the Lockheed F-22A costs $177.6 million. So depending on how much depth your pocket has, any of these NATO area fighter aircraft could be yours. Another important factor to consider when purchasing a fighter jet is whether you will be purchasing a new fighter jet or an older version of a new model. This consideration is based on the 2017 Washington-based report. On average, a new U.S. tactical aircraft costs up to two and a half times more than the aircraft it replaces. This means that newer fighter jet models cost way more than older models, and rightly so. Newer models have better advancements in terms of design, operation, speed, and combat power. For example, an F-35A Joint Strike Fighter costs approximately $100 million which is way more than the F-16, which costs 35 to $40 million. Another example is the $65 million F-A-18C Hornet, which is replaced by the $131.2 million carrier-borne F-35C. To those who are watching this video, if you ever decide to pursue your dream of getting a fighter jet, the best option would be to go for an older model to save a few million dollars. As I mentioned earlier, fighter aircraft are being improved by aircraft producers year after year. This is one of the main reasons these jets are so expensive. We could quickly point fingers at the producers and say they are why these fighter aircraft are insanely costly. Well, that is true in some way, but in another way, it isn't. Typically, aircraft producers can subsidize the cost of each unit of their product through mass production. However, in the cases of fighter jets, only the government or very wealthy individuals can make orders for such high-grade weapon systems. It is now left to the producers to make these jets in minimal quantities, making it difficult to spread the production and design costs among other units. After you have crossed the hurdle of getting yourself a fighter jet, the next action step would be to operate the aircraft. You didn't spend all that money only to have it locked away in a hangar somewhere, did you? Just as we have factors affecting the cost of purchasing a fighter jet, the cost of operation is also largely dependent on whether the aircraft you bought is a newer model or an older one. According to the United States Department of Defense data, newer fighter jets are significantly more expensive to operate. An example of this would have us look at the F-22A and the F-35A which both have an hourly cost of $33,538 and $28,455, respectively comparing this to the fighter jet they are meant to replace. The A-10 has an hourly fee of about $6,000. That is a pretty significant margin, wouldn't you agree? To fully understand the total cost of operating a fighter jet, we must consider how the Navy and Marine Corps operate their own aircraft. The way they operate these jets serves as the foundation of our discussion in today's video. Before you can even dream of flying your fighter jet or any aircraft for that matter, you have to fill its tank. Just like you fuel your cars, you have to constantly keep your fighter jet fueled before you can fly it. According to experts and many aircraft engineers, the cost of fueling a combat jet is very high. 
Why? The reason is that most of the fighter jets we have in this current age are supersonic jets. This means that these jets need a considerable amount of fuel to reach their top speeds. Let's assume you aim to cut costs, and thus you take your newly acquired fighter jet to the least expensive airport to get it fueled. Jet Propellant 8, the fuel combat aircraft use, costs $3.75 a gallon in this airport. Suppose the fighter jet you just acquired is an F-16, which usually flies at about Mach 0.8. This jet consumes approximately 2,410 kilograms of Jet Propellant 8 every hour. You will be looking to spend about $3,000 per flight hour by calculations. Let's say you are trying to reach a particular destination a lot quicker, and you ask for the afterburner to be used. This can easily double the price of your fuel expenses. Besides the fuel cost, you also have to look at other expenses needed to operate the jet fully. One of such expenses is the payment going to the crew in charge of the fighter jet, depending on the team, how long the pilot has been flying, and the type of fighter in question. You could be looking to pay between $1,599 to $150,000 per hour. I am sure by now you are well on your way to fully understanding how expensive owning a fighter jet is. Well, it doesn't end there. The final part of this video will see us look at the cost of maintenance and insurance. Cost of maintaining a fighter jet. Just like every other aircraft, fighter jets need to be maintained, and it should be noted that this maintenance costs quite a bit. As one of the most advanced weapon systems globally, fighter jets are built to produce a considerable amount of firepower, leaving them susceptible to damage, wear, and tear. If you aim to use your fighter jet for a long time, you must go the extra mile to maintain it adequately. On average, the cost of maintaining a fighter jet per flight hour is about $2,000 to $3,000. Depending on the fighter jet you opt to buy, the amount could be higher or lower for you. Insurance. It is common knowledge that insurance has to be done for anyone who buys a new car. This also applies to anyone looking to buy a fighter jet. When it comes to the insurance of a fighter jet, the discussion gets a bit tricky. This is because, unlike commercial aircraft, fighter jets are meant to get damaged. Most of these jets are sent to the skies in the hopes that they can take down another plane or get taken down themselves. This has led to the conclusion that fighter jets do not need insurance. Although many of the aircraft's parts are delivered with warranties during production, these jets as a whole aren't insured. For someone who aims to use their fighter jet only for commercial purposes, this does not apply. Insurance can thus be obtained for this type of aircraft. So then the question now becomes, what kind of insurance do you get for a fighter jet? The answer to the question is liability coverage insurance. Liability coverage insurance protects you, the owner, from legal liability arising from injuries or property damage while the aircraft is in use. In the event that you face lawsuits for even operating the fighter jet, this insurance will also protect you. The insurance cost can range from $10,000 a year to $500,000 a year, depending on the liability limit requested. There you have it, guys. The actual cost of owning a fighter jet. If you are ever looking to own a fighter jet, you need to consider all these costs. That's all for now. Let me know in the comments section if you think owning a fighter jet is worth all the cost. Don't forget to like this video, share with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more updates and exciting content. Until next time, stay safe guys. Bye.